Hey there, back again. I'm currently just sitting in the line to Dunkin' Donuts. Just gonna pick myself up a nice coffee and a breakfast sandwich. There are two great looking pups in the truck in front of me. That has zero relevancy to the point of this video, but I just thought I'd share for you guys. Mitch Trubisky, this is my this is my big question today. So last night, uh, me and my buddies were having a conversation. Uh, he just actually, he's into sports cards. I'm starting to get into it a little bit myself, but he um, invested a little bit in Mitch Trubisky. And obviously I have my opinions on Mitch Trubisky and I let him know, but I just kind of want to know what other people's opinions of Mitch Trubisky are. Uh, now granted, I'm a Packers fan and this isn't me being salty like, oh, I mean, I can't like any other teams in that division's quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, all hail Aaron Rodgers. No, no. I think Matt Stafford, Matt Stafford, great. I think Kirk Cousins stinks. He could have a big game, games close, prime time. If it's a big game, he will throw an interception in the fourth quarter. I think that's his MO. And honestly, my opinion of Mitch Trubisky, uh, tough spot. Last year, he showed that he was a little mentally weak when you know all the news stories were talking about how he's regressed. And he had, there was that whole story where he had Chicago um, he had in the team facility turn off all the TVs because they didn't want the negative press in like that kind of shows you that You know mentally a little weak obviously 24 years old last year. I think he's 25 this year But um, I thought about it this morning when I was thinking about doing this video Tough situation best case scenario for him is I think he could be Alex Smith and I'm not saying I think he's going to be but that's like best case scenario so Alex Smith if I could take you back to 2005 first overall pick in a draft that also had Aaron Rodgers. So for Alex Smith's seven year, whatever, eight year career, even when he had good years, it was like, okay, but we could have had, or we could have had Aaron Rodgers. Um, I think Mitch Trubisky, just because of the draft class that he fell in, as long as he's in Chicago is going to be the same. Like he could have a good year, but he's not going to be Patrick Mahomes. He's not going to be Deshaun Watson. He was drafted ahead of those guys. So Bears fans are always going to be, especially if he stinks, especially if he stinks and they're not making the playoffs. Oh, well, we could have had Patrick Mahomes. We could have had Deshaun Watson. And I think that's a tough situation for him. And then you add that to the, to the, to the, on top of the fact that he may or may not be uh, a little mentally fragile. Um, I don't think it bodes well. And to take it back to my buddy and his investment in Mitch Trubisky cards, best case scenario for him is he gets hot for the next couple weeks and then you sell, his cards go up, you sell and you make a couple bucks. Worst case scenario, they're playing the Falcons this week who, yeah, the Bears are 2-0. and They've played the Lions and the Giants, so not two great wins. And the Falcons are 0-2. They played the Seahawks and they blew a big one against the Cowboys, but I think they're going to come back with a vengeance. That offense is potent. Uh, if it's a shootout, the Falcons are going to win. So worst case scenario, they lose to the Falcons this week and then the Colts came back last week and they beat up on the Vikings. But at this point, the Vikings might stink. So, but worst case scenario for Mitch, they lose their next two weeks. And now the fans in Chicago are like, let's get Nick Foles. This is why we traded for him. And Nick Foles takes over as the starter. They don't pick up the option on Mitch Trubisky. And those cards tank because now Mitch is a backup. Worst case scenario for him. Um, but to go back to my, my first point with him being like Alex Smith, he could be Alex Smith. I don't think Mitch Trubisky is going to work in Chicago because of what I said earlier. The fact that as long as he's there, unless he's winning Super Bowls and lighting it up, Chicago fans are going to say, but we could have Patrick Mahomes. We could have Deshaun Watson. So, uh, he's talented, he's a super athlete. As long as he's running, like that's a, a big thing that differentiates him from other guys. He is a very good athlete, a la Josh Allen. You know, Deshaun Watson, like, he can move. Um, but I think his best days, if he has any, are going to come not in Chicago, somewhere else, somewhere else. They don't pick up an option. They go in a different direction after next year, and he goes somewhere else and gets a chance, a la Ryan Tannehill, things like that. Um, but that, those are my opinions. I want to know what you guys think because I'm curious on Mitch Trubisky. I don't know what Chicago fans think, what NFL people think, and I want to know. So you let me know in the comments below.